Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the video game shoebox. Since this segment started, I've received a bunch of requests for games to be featured here, and trust me, I'll get to them. The most interesting suggestion I've had so far, though, was actually from viewer and fan Jason Kincaid, suggesting I cover an old game that I've spent the most time with, for better or for worse. The result was a no-brainer to me. Shit yeah! I'm gonna be real with you folks for a second. Metal Gear Solid is my favourite series of games of all time. I recognise that each of the titles have their flaws, but god damn it if it isn't one of the best and bowls out mental stories in the history of games. Metal Gear Solid was released on the PS1 in 1998. It was my introduction to the series, as it was for a lot of people at the time. This was not the first time gamers had a chance to play as series star Solid Snake though. Going back way further to 1987, we saw the release of Metal Gear for the MSX2 computer and also a heavily modified version for the NES. This game would actually serve as everyone's introduction to the world of Metal Gear and its oodles of bombast, tales of love and betrayal, revenge and of course the threat of total nuclear annihilation. I should take a second to unpack this. Metal Gear is the code name for a series of nuclear armed bipedal battle tank things of numerous size and design, but all with the same compatibility to really fuck up your day. The main plot of this series centers around Solid Snake and his mission to rid the world from such a threat, and boy does that mission go some crazy places narratively. The series has a self-appointed description under each title, Tactical Espionage Action, which is actually a very good way to sum up the gameplay experience you'll have with the series. The premise narratively is that this is a stealth mission, so sneaking around and not being seen by soldiers is totally the way to go. There are plenty of weapons and actions to deal with a situation should you be sloppy, however the game is at its best when you play with a slightly more methodical approach. People may give credit to Ubisoft's Splinter Cell and its hero Sam Fisher for popularising stealth gameplay with more intricate systems such as using the darkness of shadows to hide and the sound of thunder to mask your gunfire, but let's be honest. This series started a whole 15 years after Konami put out Metal Gear. It just goes to show how good a spy Solid Snake is. He was there all along, we just didn't realise it. Metal Gear Solid on the original PlayStation was such a revolution at the time for numerous reasons. Incredible music, giving the slow sections a methodical pace, and the action sequences even more tension than the story had provided. Stellar voice acting and lots of it, with David Hayter bringing Snake to life and also starring other amazing talents such as Jennifer Hale. This is the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! There's brilliant artistic and cinematic direction courtesy of your boy and mine, Hideo Kojima. A fleshed out story with a superb cast of characters, but the thing that got me the most upon first playing in 1998 was the fact that it all felt quite adult. Maybe because I was 12 and playing a 15 rated game, but whatever. I turned out fine. I guess. Despite how silly it can be at times, the narrative goes places that gripped me from start to finish and it's still effective to this day. Closing its story in brilliant dramatic fashion whilst leaving just enough story threads dangling to keep you on edge and waiting impatiently for the sequels. A lot of people shit on the series for being more story than game. Whether the math is accurate on that or not I don't know, but whenever I hear a comment along those lines I know that this is a person that doesn't care about experiencing a good story. All he or she wants is the next shooty shooty bang bang experience like a Destiny or a Call of Duty or something similar. If you're in a camp that just loves a good story and enjoys the tension of stealth and the bombast of action and the intrigue of a brilliant mystery novel, Metal Gear Solid might just be an older game for you to sink into. Give it a go, you won't be disappointed. I could literally talk for hours about how much I love this game in this series, but as this segment is almost at a close, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. Who knows, maybe another title from the series will find its way on here in the future. 
that is unfortunately it from me in this edition of the Video Game Shoebox. Be sure to let me know on Twitter or in the comments below any games you'd like to see get a shoebox session. I've been Mike Nottridge, and I will see you next time. What's in your video game shoebox? And that's about it for this edition of Fire Attack. Thanks for watching. Next week, Johnny checks out ID at Xbox darling We Happy Few. It had one of the most shocking onstage moments at E3, but there is more to it than just smashing pinatas. Then, in one of those everything old is new again moments, we spend a bit of time with Worms WMD, which is just as good as you remember from 20 years ago. In the meantime, you can catch us at playerattack.com, we're on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, and if you've got something you want to say, send us an email, mailbox at playerattack.com, or just hop on our forums. Also, if you want to support Player Attack, you can find us on Patreon and help us bring you the latest in gaming news, plus all of these wonderful interviews and reviews from the world of video games. Till next week, I'm Jessica Citizen, and this is Player Attack.